Dr. Donald Hart. You're welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I am Fine. I want my audience to know I'll be speaking with Dr. Donald Karcher. He's president of the College of American Pathologists. Dr. Karcher, we've got a really uh, uh, serious subject to, uh, for you to address. What is the soaring trends that seem to be among young adults who are being diagnosed with cancer? Yeah, so this is a very troubling trend. Cancer diagnosis in young adults has been increasing worldwide by about 1% to 2% per year over at least the last three decades. Um, what's causing this? We don't know for sure what single factor might be uh, at, at play here, but it appears to be multiple factors. That's what we feel, having to do with diet, uh, lifestyle, and things that young people are maybe exposed to. You know, with diet, um, a high-fat, low-fiber diet or a diet high in ultra-processed food, these things are now known to be associated with cancer development. Lifestyle things like lack of exercise or perhaps obesity. We know obesity is associated with cancer of certain types. Smoking is obviously associated with lung cancer, but smoking can also lead to uh, at least eight other types of cancer. Um, alcohol consumption um, is thought to be a factor. Sun exposure, of course, because of uh, skin cancer. Even maybe overuse of medications. Now, certain medications that have monoclonal antibodies in them, we already know those cause cancer. But things like maybe antibiotics, uh, maybe overuse over, long, over a period of time, because antibiotics affect the microorganisms that live in our gut. The biggie is exposure to um, carcinogens. These are cancer-related chemicals that are literally everywhere in our environment. It's almost uh, impossible to avoid them. All of these things together, we feel, are underlying the uh, increase in cancer diagnosis in young adults. I don't think there are any preventive measures for cancers in adults, but are there any screenings for young people or preventions for them? Well, absolutely. Um, you know, we don't have screening tests for every cancer, but the ones that we do, it's very important that people get screened. And the screening recommendations are changing. Screening is now recommended to happen earlier. For breast cancer, this is actually breaking news. For women with an average risk of breast cancer, they should now start getting mammograms at age 40. That was just announced earlier this week as a new recommendation. Um, also, young women with a higher than uh, average risk of breast cancer because of family history and other factors, they should start screening with mammograms even before then. Um, for cervical, cervical cancer, screening with pap tests or, and or HPV screening tests should begin at age 21. And screening for colon cancer, that's also changed. Um, that screening should begin now at age 45 if a person has an average risk. And for people with an increased risk, it should start even before age 45. That's incredible, doctor. It really is. Tell me the importance of early detection then if, if you're moving up to screening age. Yes, the early detection could not be more important. Um, we know that early detection of cancer is clearly associated, first of all, with better treatment options and also, maybe more importantly, with, with better outcomes after treatment. This is why getting screened for the, the cancers that there are screening tests and also being vigilant for different symptoms that you might have is so important. If we can catch a cancer early enough, there's a very good chance it hasn't spread to other parts of the body, which means it is, it is definitely more curable. When you say look be vigilant for symptoms, what do you mean by that? Not all cancers uh, cause symptoms, but there are, there's a list of symptoms that we should all be aware of, and this is particularly true for young adults. For instance, um, unexplained pain or a swelling or a lump, unexplained weight loss, um, change in bowel habits, uh, maybe persistent fatigue, blood in the stool or the urine, chronic cough or hoarseness. Also, even changes in like moles or other skin lesions as an indication that one might have a, a skin cancer. Now, all of these things can certainly be um, caused by other than cancer. So it doesn't automatically mean that a person has cancer. But these are things that young adults should really be aware of. And if they have any of these, they should go in and see their doctor to get them checked out. 
Is there a place online that people can educate themselves more because the information you have just shared is so important, doctor? Yeah, I think a very good website is the American Cancer Society website, and I would search that website using the words cancer in young adults. There's another great site called yourpathologist.org, your pathologist with no space between the words .org. There, people can learn about what pathologists like me do in terms of diagnosing disease, particularly cancer. Good treatment, successful treatment of cancer begins with a, an accurate diagnosis, and that's where we come in. There's also information about how to interpret your pathology report, if you get a report like that on, your, on a patient portal, and information about certain cancers. I just want to thank you for stopping and remind my audience that pathology is the study of disease and injury, and you do that so well, Dr. Donald. Thank you so much for stopping by and educating me and my audience on the Valder BB Show. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Valder, for having me. Have a great day. You too. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.